everyone, and welcome back, ready to dive into a design style that just oozes glamour. We're talking Hollywood Regency today, and before you think, velvet sofas aren't really my thing, trust me, this style's got more going on under the surface than you might expect. It's true. Hollywood Regency, it's not just about recreating those glitzy movie sets, you know. It's a whole design philosophy straight out of the 1930s and 40s, and it really reflects a fascinating moment in history. Okay, so set the stage for us. What was going on back then that got people craving this particular look in their homes? Well, picture this. It's the golden age of Hollywood, right? Movies were all about escapism, glamour, transporting people to another world. And wouldn't you know it, people wanted a piece of that magic in their own homes. So it's like taking that movie set magic and making it a part of your everyday life. Exactly. But here's the thing. Hollywood Regency, it wasn't about being stuffy or over the top. One of the sources we looked at called it luxury you can live in. And I think that sums it up perfectly. I love that. So it's luxurious, but approachable. Like I could totally curl up with a good book in a Hollywood Regency living room and not feel out of place. A hundred percent. I think those rich velvets and silks for sure, but also comfortable furniture, spaces made for entertaining. Don't forget, this style was born in sunny California, so that indoor-outdoor flow was key. So you've got those gorgeous materials and a focus on comfort. What else really defines the Hollywood Regency look? Contrast is huge. And I'm not just talking color, although, oh, we'll get there. Imagine like really ornate details, the Greek key motif, for example, that repeating geometric pattern you often see in molding or fabrics. Now picture that combined with sleek modern furniture inspired by Art Deco. Hold on, for those of us who aren't design buffs, could you break down that Greek key motif a bit more? What does that actually look like and why was it so popular? Sure thing. Imagine a design made of these repeating lines and they intersect at right angles, mm -hmm. almost like a squared off spiral. It's been used in design for ages. It goes way back to ancient Greece, actually. It represents eternity, interconnectedness. It adds a sense of history and classicism. But going back to that contrast, mm -hmm. you might find this ancient pattern next to, say, a super modern chrome and glass coffee table or a geometric sofa. That's fascinating. So they were mixing those traditional elements with the hottest design trends of the day. Kind of like those old Hollywood films where you see those glamorous stars in these incredibly modern, Art Deco settings. Exactly. And speaking of mixing things up, color is where Hollywood Regency gets really playful. All right, spill the tea. What color combos just scream Hollywood Regency to you? One classic pairing you see time and time again is black and white, but with this vibrant pop of emerald green. It's unexpected, bold, and just oozes that Hollywood drama and sophistication. Ooh, I can totally see that. Like a plot twist in a film noir keeps things interesting. So bold color, mix of classic and modern. What else makes this style so unique? Think about it. Those old Hollywood films were all about creating an illusion, you know, that sense of grandeur and escape. Well, Hollywood Regency design does the same thing. A lot of times it's through using mirrors and reflective surfaces. You know, our sources did mention those reflective surfaces quite a bit, but what's the reasoning there? Is it as simple as mirrors make a room look bigger? It's more than that. Yes, mirrors can make a space feel larger, which was especially appealing because, let's be real, not everyone had a massive mansion back then. But it's also about amplifying the light, creating sparkle and glamour. Think of those old photos of Hollywood stars getting ready, surrounded by mirrors, pure magic. It's like they're bringing that backstage magic right into the home. I love it. And we're back, diving deeper into this world of Hollywood Regency. So we've got this style that uses contrast, color, even a little illusion, all to create that old Hollywood glamour. But what about the furniture itself? What kind of pieces would we actually see in a Hollywood Regency home? Well, remember how we were talking about luxury you can live in? Yeah, that applies to the furniture big time. Okay, so give us the inside scoop. What are we talking about here? Imagine like sinking into this oversized tufted velvet sofa. It's like the furniture equivalent of a warm hug, but you know, way more glamorous. Oh, I can picture it. But it's interesting, right? Because it just screams, luxury, but it also sounds comfy. Exactly. And that's the brilliance of it. You don't have to sacrifice comfort for looks. It's about having it all. So yeah, you might have that plush velvet sofa, but then you've also got chairs with those sleek art deco lines, often upholstered in something like silk or satin. Visual interest, but still inviting you to relax and enjoy the space. I love that mix, that contrast, the plushness of velvet with those clean art deco lines. It's like this perfectly choreographed dance between different design styles. Yes. 
And speaking of choreographed, you know how we were discussing those reflective surfaces? It's not just walls and accessories. Ooh, you mean mirrored furniture? A couple of our sources mentioned that. For sure. Mirrored coffee tables, console tables, sometimes even entire walls done in mirror. And these pieces, they don't just bounce that light around and create that spacious feeling. They add to the drama, the intrigue. It's like having a little movie magic right there in your living room. Stepping onto a glamorous film set. And speaking of drama, we can't forget accessories. What are some of the key pieces that really complete that Hollywood Regency look? Well, remember how this style is all about these unexpected juxtapositions? You've got elegant, often vintage-inspired pieces alongside bold, modern stuff. And then there's animal print. Oh yes, the animal print. I have to admit, I was a little surprised to see that in our research. How does that fit in with the whole Hollywood Regency vibe? It's the element of surprise. Keeps the whole look from being too serious, too stuffy. Mm -hmm. So you might have a zebra print rug anchoring the seating area, or some leopard print throw pillows on a sophisticated sofa. Just a little whimsy. So it's about embracing that more is more, but in a way that feels curated, intentional. 100%. Creating a space that reflects you invites conversation. And what gets people talking more than an unexpected design choice, right? Touché. Now, before we move on to how Hollywood Regency is being used in homes today, what about that overall feeling? If you had to sum up the vibe of a well-designed Hollywood Regency space, what would it be? Okay, imagine this. You walk into a room and it's bathed in this warm, inviting light. There's a fire going in the fireplace. You can smell gardenias in the air. And you get to sink into this plush velvet armchair, cocktail in hand, surrounded by friends having a good time. That's the essence of Hollywood Regency. Elegant, dramatic, but more than anything, it's about enjoying yourself in a space that makes you feel like a star. Okay, so we've taken a trip back to Hollywood's golden age, talked about those luxurious materials, even touched on animal print. But now, for the big question, is Hollywood Regency just a thing of the past, or can it still work today? You know, you, you hit the nail on the head with that thing of the past bit because this style is making a big comeback these days. But like with any good comeback story, it's not about just dusting off the same old stuff. It's about getting what makes this style tick, that glamorous heart of it. So we're not just trying to recreate a movie set in our own homes. What is it that people are responding to then? I think deep down, it's that desire for spaces that feel special, you know? Maybe even a little escapist. We're constantly bombarded with information, visuals, everything's coming at us all the time. Our homes become even more important as those places to escape to. That makes a lot of sense. But how do you take those Hollywood Regency elements and make them work in a modern home without it feeling dated or overdone? Balance. That's the key. And adapting the main principles, like instead of going all in on jewel tones for every single wall, you might see a more neutral palette with pops of color strategically placed here and there. So you could have this calm, almost minimalist living room, but then bam, an emerald green velvet sofa just steals the show. Exactly. You've still got that drama, the luxurious vibe, but in a way that feels fresh. And remember how important that indoor-outdoor connection is in this style. That's huge right now, too. So true. It seems like everyone's trying to bring the outdoors in these days. I'm imagining those big glamorous windows, maybe some French doors leading out to a patio. And how those elements play with light. Hollywood Regency is all about light and shadow. Really adds to the drama of a space. Like setting the stage for your life, right? Which reminds me, what about the furniture? Are those iconic statement pieces still a thing? Oh, absolutely. You'll still find those tufted velvet sofas, those dramatic chandeliers. But again, it's about that balance, that mix of vintage glamour with modern sensibility. Mm. Maybe you pair a classic Hollywood Regency piece with some more contemporary furniture or accessories. So maybe a sleek, minimalist coffee table right next to that glamorous velvet sofa. I love how this style encourages you to play with different eras and looks. It doesn't have to be rigid or follow a strict set of rules. Exactly. It's all about capturing that spirit, that Hollywood Regency spirit. You know, the elegance, the drama, even that sense of fun, and then making it your own. This has been such an eye-opening deep dive. For our listeners out there feeling inspired, maybe wanting to add a little old Hollywood to their own homes, what's the one thing you'd tell them to keep in mind? Don't be afraid to have fun. Hollywood Regency is all about 
embracing the luxurious, the unexpected. So, you know, add those personal touches, play with different textures and colors, and more than anything, create a space that makes you feel like a star. Beautifully said. It's been a pleasure diving into the glamour of Hollywood Regency with you today. The pleasure was all mine. And to all our listeners, we hope this deep dive has inspired you to bring a little Hollywood magic into your own lives. Until next time, happy decorating. <laughs>